Hello everyone, welcome back to this little video series on the three different ways we can communicate scale. We've been looking at a representative fraction, that was our first way, but in this video we're going to continue to looking at our second way, which is through a verbal scale, also known as a statement scale. A verbal scale is something like any of the following. One inch represents 10,000 feet. One inch represents one mile. One inch represents 100 yards. One centimeter represents 100 kilometers. One centimeter represents 10,000 feet. These are all just ways of verbally expressing a scale, and you will notice that there is a little bit of similarity with a representative fraction, most notably that they always start with one as well. They always talk about communicating scale in terms of one unit. One unit on the map represents some distance in the real world. One inch represents. One centimeter represents. Never a fractional value or more than one. But you'll notice there's a significant difference with the uh, representative fraction in that you do not have to have the same unit on both sides. Instead of giving you a representative fraction, I'm just telling you that one inch represents 10,000 feet, or one inch on that map will represent one mile on the real world. You can convert from a representative fraction to a verbal scale and back again. So let's take a brief moment to look at the conversion of a representative fraction to a verbal scale. Here is a representative fraction, 1 to 63360. So it is true, therefore, that I can add uh, centimeters to both sides and say 1 centimeter represents 63360 centimeters, 63,600, uh, 63,360 centimeters. I could have added cubits to each side and said 1 cubit represents 63,360 cubits. 1 inch represents 63,000 uh, 360 inches. So this comes close to being a, a verbal scale right when I say it like this, uh, but not completely. There's still something that I have to do because I have to convert the uh, units over here on the real world into a usable unit. Nobody knows how far uh, 63360 centimeters are or that number of inches. We don't communicate distance like that. So in order to have a, a verbal scale, it isn't enough just to stick the same unit on both sides, but then you actually do have to convert the uh, unit of the uh, planet, the unit of the real world, into something usable that people understand. Because the point of a verbal scale is to effectively communicate the scale. Of course, one of the great advantages of the representative fraction is that it can be used with any system of measurement, any unit that the user wants, and if you're communicating scale to a cartographically sophisticated audience, if the people who are using the map uh, are GIS specialists or cartographers or so forth, they want that kind of flexibility. But very often, rather than uh, communicating scale to an audience like that, you're communicating the scale of a map to somebody who may not be uh, ready to use a representative fraction. They'd much rather have one of these statement scales where it tells them one of some unit represents some number of another unit on the actual planet that is usable to them. Therefore, the representative fraction 1 to 63360 is the verbal scale 1 inch represents 1 mile. There are 63360 inches in a mile, and it's perfectly valid in a uh, statement scale, a verbal scale, as long as you do your unit conversions correctly to say one inch represents one mile. And you can definitely see how it is much better and much more effective to communicate the scale in a verbal fashion by telling someone that one inch represents one mile and not one inch represents 63360 inches. Nobody knows how far 63360 inches uh, happens to be, we do have a cognitive understanding of how far one mile is. Therefore, conversion to a useful unit when expressing a verbal scale is essential. Take a look at this example. I would like for you to be able to work through this example uh, on your own. The scale of the USGS 7.5 minute series topographic quadrangles is 1 to 24,000. So that's the representative fraction. They are made at a scale of 1 to 24,000. But why did they choose that particular scale? Well, that scale happens to have a very easy to remember, very useful verbal scale. So I would like for you to try to be able to uh, convert this representative fraction into a very useful verbal scale, 
what is the verbal scale of 1 to 24,000? Okay, so let's talk about the major advantage of the verbal scale. The major advantage is that it is a simple and direct and meaningful way to communicate scale information to cartographically less sophisticated users. The disadvantages are that it locks the user into one system of measurement and unit. Unlike the representative fraction, which you are communicating in a unitless way, here you're actually telling the user something about the relationship uh, between the size of the map and the world uh, in a very unit specific way and so that sort of locks people in to using one particular unit of measurement or one particular system of measurement uh, and of course they could do their own conversions to some other unit but you are definitely prompting them to use the particular system of measurement and unit of measurement that the scale is expressed in. And so it requires some degree of mathematical sophistication not a tremendous amount of mathematical sophistication but you are requiring your user to do some more work to convert from one system and unit to another. Okay, so that's the basics of the verbal scale. We've got one more way that we can communicate scale, which we'll look at next.